Hey, Magic Makers. I'm Mom Virella. I'm Yukita Cosplay. And I'm CJ Peterson. Get your wands to the ready because we solemnly swear we're up to no good. And we're up to having some fun today for our little short. It seems that there's a certain Comic-Con in the year coming in on this weekend. And we have the owner, Mr. John Swayze, here to fill us in on the details. Welcome, sir. Hey, how y'all doing? Great. Hey, fantastic. I want to tell everybody a little bit about what Anime Houston is and what it's about. Yeah, so Anime Houston, um, this is our third year. Uh, we also uh, do Anime Dallas. That We're in our sixth year for that. Oh, wow. But Anime Houston is, um, I'm from Houston. I live here. And um, we're just a, a good old-fashioned, old-school kind of anime convention, you know, with uh, voice guests and Japanese uh, culture everywhere and uh, uh, just all kinds of things. We have a dance. We have uh, panels. We have autographs. We have a dealer's hall. Um, artist alley um, and it's not you know a lot of conventions it seems like today have have really become just a marketplace you know where you just like a comic-con kind of thing where you just go and buy stuff and get autographs and you know that kind of thing and while that's all fine and good um, I I just love the old stuff where you go to panels and you can learn about stuff and uh, that kind of thing so that's kind of what we do um, this year also, we're very, very excited. Uh, we're partnering, uh, with, uh, an organization called the Trevor Project. Um, if you're not familiar with the Trevor Project, they, um, assist, uh, teenagers in the LGBTQ community, um, that are dealing with, um, attempted suicide and, uh, uh stress management and, and, uh, crisis management type of issues. So we're very, very proud to be part of that and, uh, and, and hopefully give them a, a helping hand and even a little bit of money. <laughs> so um, anyway, but we're very, very excited. It's going to be this weekend, uh, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, September the 22nd at the West Chase Hilton, uh, excuse me, West Chase Marriott in uh, Houston, Texas. And uh, it's just going to be a lot of fun. We're really, really excited. Very cool. So the question is, who are the guests? So some of the guests we have, uh, Billy West, uh, we have Katero, um, we have Jenny Kwan and Olivia Hack, um, yours truly will be there, mm -hmm. um, and then a bunch of local uh, Dallas and some Dallas actors and some Houston area actors. Um, you may or may not know, but between Houston and Dallas, Houston has Sentai Filmworks, Dallas has... Um, uh, Funimation, uh, but between the two studios, two cities, uh, Texas produces more anime than anyone else in North America. So uh, we've got a bevy of actors here and all kinds of talent, writers, translators, etc. So um, we're going to be showcasing a lot of that. We're also going to be partnering with High Dive, which is the streaming platform for uh, Sentai Filmworks, where I'm a director and an actor. And we are going to be um, uh, debuting two new projects uh tunnel to summer and another one that i actually can't mention yet it has never been seen anywhere um except japan so uh we're going to be debuting that these will be subtitled versions but uh we will be debuting those at the convention so i'm really really excited to be partnering with high dive on this so is that one that's going to be translated later uh, well, uh, Tunnel to Summer has actually already been dubbed. I directed it, um, but they're saving. There's going to be a theatrical release, so um, we're saving that for later. But so they're, they, we will get to see the subtitled version. But um, and then the other project, I can't say what it is yet because it is a complete surprise. So um, uh, unless we've announced it on the website, but you'll have to go there and check it out. <laughs> a teaser here. <laughs> So, yeah, I, I know you, you had Dante Vasco last year and uh, Jesse Flower, who were in the Last Year Vendor Avatar. And you have a couple this year that are from that one. Did you already mention them? I don't remember. Yeah, Jenny Kwan and uh, Olivia Hack. They're from uh, Airbender as well. And uh, so they'll be there. And we're really excited to have them. They're absolutely delightful uh, actors to hang out with. So they're, they're always a joy to be around and very fan-friendly. Um, we really pride ourselves 
uh, Anime Houston and Anime Dallas to um, try to have the kind of atmosphere and environment that is very fan friendly. Um, and, you know, just in general, I think that's one of the things I love about the anime community is that it is very uplifting and supportive um, and uh, inclusive. And uh, we try to make sure that that's reflected in the type of voice actors that we try to get. And uh, I think we have achieved that once again. So looking forward to seeing them. And last year was actually my first year to go. And I have to admit, it was a big convention. Like there was a lot going on at the, it was a number of stories too, where it was located last year. I don't know if it's going to be like that this year, but uh, we always talk about how we love the smaller con feel, how it's more intimate, more personal. And it really did have that as big as it was. I was surprised that it felt more personal like that. It was a great, it was a great event. I really loved it. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It, we're, we're probably in the four to 6,000 range of people uh, over the whole weekend. Um, this year, the hotel's a little smaller. It will actually only be on one level, but it's more spread out. So uh, there's a lot of, you know, you'll get your steps in for sure, but, um, uh, <laughs> but there's, it's free parking. Um, it's just, it's, it's a much more open environment. So I'm really happy about that too. It'll be, the accessibility is going to be a lot easier and there's no risk of, you know, uh, escalators breaking or waiting on elevators to get to different floors. I mean, there still could be that because we, you know, obviously try to fill the hotel with, with uh, attendees, but um, you will never be late to a panel because you're waiting on an elevator <laughs> unless you're in your room. So anyway, it's, it's, it's good. It's a good setup. So are there deals where they can get like the room and like entry for the weekend sort of thing? Oh, absolutely. I think we've extended that. Uh, even if it says so on the website, like it's closed, still go for it because um, I still think there's some rooms available. Um, we're pretty close to full, uh, but uh, I, I, yeah, that's not really my department. So I don't really know what the, the total situation yep, is. But, rooms available. <laughs> Just, just, just go for it. The worst thing I can say is no. So, so this is the third year for this one. And what are you doing different this year, maybe from other years? Um, well, we, we've, this is our third year in our third hotel. So uh, we started off with Hyatt up by uh, Intercontinental Airport. And then we went to the downtown Hyatt last year. And now we're at a Marriott. Um, and it really just kind of fit our needs space-wise. Mm -hmm. uh, there just really aren't a whole lot of hotels that are as big as we need. And we like the hotel vibe of doing a convention as opposed to going to a convention center. Um, I think a lot of people like it because it's all in one place. You know, your room's upstairs. You can go back and relax for a little bit. You can, you know, uh, if you've got a lot of cosplay, you can store your stuff and not have to worry about, you know, what do I do with it if I want to change mid day and do another cosplay or mm -hmm. um, be nice. <laughs> yeah. And I think the actors really like it too, because if they've got some time off, they want to take time off away from their table. They can go up to their room and relax and, and hang out. So, um, but the, the biggest thing I think for us is going to be, this is just, it's a lot, it's a, some of the spaces are smaller, um, but it's just going to be laid out differently. And I think it's going to be, it's going to still have that very intimate feel, which I'm really, really glad about. Because like you said, I mean, that's kind of the one of the keys for me is, you know, I don't mind if it's a big show, but I want it to have that intimate family feel, you know, where you, you feel, oh, excuse me one second. Yeah, I'll be right there. Um, okay, okay. Sorry, I was cooking some dinner and I have abandoned my post. But that was you guys. That's, that's not good. <laughs> um but anyway, so yeah, so it should be a lot of fun. And if, you know, hopefully it works out and we, uh, we, you know, like it and everyone has a good time and we decide to keep this hotel for another year and just kind of grow in, grow within this hotel. And uh, I will say that just, you know, this kind of just spitballing and thinking down the road, but even if it does get too big, mm -hmm. um, there's a hotel right across the street that we could uh, say, okay, well, we're going to be in both hotels. And it's, I mean, but it's, it's walkable, you know, you could walk right across the street and there's, you know, other stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about it. So kind of thinking outside the box. Yeah. yeah nice. for sure. Expansion. Um, so I heard from a little birdie 
who told me that your daughter is following in their footsteps because she's appearing in NerdCon in a few weeks. Is she, she going to do this one as well? She is. Uh, Olivia is my uh, oldest. She graduated a year ago from uh, University of Houston with a degree in theater. And she has been a voice actor for about five years and does an amazing job. She is far more talented than I'll ever be. And uh, I could not be more proud of her. I've uh, directed her in a number of shows. Um, oh, that's cool. But I, I would like to put a little caveat to that. Um, the shows that I've auditioned for, she's had to audition for. Mm -hmm. And uh, that I, so it's not just, uh, you know, um, oh, well, she's my daughter. I'll put her as the lead in this show. It's it's not <laughs> like that at all. It's it's just her way in, just like everyone else does. Exactly. As a matter of fact, <laughs> a true story, but real quick, um, the first big role she did for me, uh, she auditioned, and we had a committee <clears throat> of people making the decision. It wasn't just me. And um, <clears throat> I said, uh, hey, I have one more actor I need y'all to hear. Her name, <clears throat> pardon me, is Olivia. I didn't say last name, and no one knew it was my daughter. I said her name mm -hmm. is Olivia, and uh, yeah, so let's give it a go. And we started playing the scene that she had auditioned for, and everybody in the room went, Yeah, cast her. And I went, yes. <laughs> it was so, like a proud dad moment right there. Yeah. yeah. Proud dad exactly. right there. Exactly. Very, very much a proud dad moment. So, uh, anyway, um, and just another little sidebar to the whole thing, but we just moved her back to our house yesterday from her apartment. Mm -hmm. She is um, going to be living here for the next uh, week and a half. And then she jumps on a plane to Europe for about a month. And then when she gets back, she'll be here for about two months and then we'll uh, head to New York. So, uh, wow. yeah, she's, she's ch chasing that dream, but she's, uh, she's a great kid. And uh, I just, you know, could not be more proud of her. That's super cool. So though. Sweet. <laughs> you get to give her advice. So she could dad help. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's pretty good. She, she gets it. She knows what she's doing in there. So she's, Very cool. she really the professionalism. Does. Yeah. Oh, definitely. She's got a, and she's very, you know, she's very good like that. I mean, she's not only is she talented, but she is very professional and she knows she can't have, doesn't get every role. And, uh, you know, she'll, we'll be at a convention together, you know, uh, not just mine, but we'll, we'll be doing something together. And, you know, she knows she doesn't have 27 years of anime experience and uh, 500 characters under her belt. You know, she, she, she knows where she sits in the whole, you know, pantheon of voice actors. So she gets it and she's, you know, very um, accepting of that and just knows where she is. So she's, you know, I think she's going to do very, very well. Nicole, well, we have one minute left. Is there anything you'd like to add? You know what, guys, just come out to Anime Houston. It's a lot of fun. We're trying to make this the best anime convention in town. There's a couple others and, and uh, we're just trying to be the best and, and not necessarily the biggest, but definitely be the best that people just go, man, I had a, such a great time. I've got to come back. And in fact, I'm going to buy my tickets next year. And I will say this, um, I don't, this is not going to be a, a deal for now because it ends tonight at midnight, but uh, tickets are only 30 bucks for the weekend. Nice. Uh, and then when they do go up, they're only 40, but the beginning of it, it was only $20 for the weekend. And our goal is to make this accessible for everybody. We don't, we're not trying to stick it to anyone. We just, we want more people to come out and enjoy the, the glory that is anime. So um, yeah, come on out and have a good time. And if you see me, make sure you come up. We'll do a picture together. Okay. So once again, Anime Houston is when? Anime Houston, September the 22nd through the 24th at the West Chase Marriott in West Houston. Uh, it's near Westheimer and Beltway 8. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, jam-packed with fun. Awesome. If you want to learn anything more about it, you can feel free to check out the website at animehouston.com. That's A-N-I-M-E-H-O-U-S-T-O-N.com. Don't miss it if you're in the area. It sounds like it's going to be tons of fun. John, thank you so much for coming on. We really appreciate you because we know you have a ton thank of stuff you. coming on. Thank you all for your patience. Love you all. Love to you all. And... Uh, I really appreciate all y'all do. Thank you. Thank you. Well, everybody get your wands to the ready. 
Monday. Yuki and I will be there that uh, this weekend for Anime Houston. So make sure and come and say hello as well to us. And until next time, love you guys. Hope to see you there. 